Hey guys, right now is a very popular time for electric vehicles, at least in the United States, but also to pick up extra chargers. And with the kind of end of COVID here, there's not a lot of choices. If you look behind me, you can see I have an NLX juice box on the wall. Uh, that's a Wi-Fi charger. Not always perfect in all situations, especially if you have weaker Wi-Fi. So I picked up a Lectron and this Lectron EV charger here is something I'm going to try. It is a 40 amp charger. I have a Tesla and we also have a Ford Mach-E. So I need to have two chargers out here in the garage. <laughs> So the new charger does come with a NEMA 1450 50 amp plug. Of course, it's going to be rated for 40 amps continuous draw. We're just gonna plug that guy in. Once it's plugged in, we'll hit the power button. We'll bring up a display here. It's gonna tell us everything that's happening. We have 230.78 volts here. We're putting up zero kilowatts. Time charge nothing, it's going to tell you it is 71.8 degrees, it is a 40 amp charger. And basically it's saying, hey, plug in everything to the car. So at this point, we are going to grab the charger. And of course, since we have a Tesla, we have to throw on the electron converter here over to Tesla. Slides on pretty easy. Push our door. That green light tells us that we are on and charging. We go back over. We're gonna watch our amperage creep up. That's a little interesting is how it's going up and it's got the battery going. There's also some other lights that are happening here. I'm curious to see how high of amps we're gonna go, if it's gonna creep all the way to 40. It looks like it's going to. Kinda interesting how it slows down at 37.6. Now this is a Model S, so there is a possibility that that's my maximum charge on this car. We'll just take a look on the inside and see what's happening as far as mileage. So we're charging, the car says we're charging at 40 amps. We just cruise over, saying 25 miles per hour, 40 amps, 229 volts, 22 miles per hour. So it's not too bad. I know in many cases that you can actually get upwards of 26. Now I have the door open, the air conditioning's on, so everything's going to drop down slightly as far as what's happening inside the car. But if we come back over here, we are still at 37.6 amps, although the car is reading it. That could be a difference between the charger and everything. This is going to creep up in temperature. It's a lot warmer in the garage right now, trust me. Uh, this just came from inside. I like how everything kind of shows up here, lets me know what's happening. I can push this button to turn this on or off, so if I want to turn it off at this point, no issue. Also, I can mount this on the wall. I am not mounting it currently. You just take this back plate off. There's some rubber holes here and then you can mount this directly to the wall and then screw it back into the backing plate. I need to put in another plug so I can have both electric vehicles out here along with the juice box and this Lectron. This Lectron is significantly less money than you would find for uh, a Wi-Fi juice box. I mean, you can get it for $414 at this point, and then there's a first-time purchase of 5% off if you go to their website. I'll leave that in the link in the description. The adapter to go between the Tesla and the J1772 is less expensive than Tesla by a long shot. It's still right around 80 bucks, but still seems quite expensive just for that single piece, although it does work just like the Tesla one that you get with the car. Highly recommend you taking multiples with you. And that's the reason why I still have all of these chargers sitting here in multiple different configurations. 
as we take the car and go, we always make sure we have an extra charger with us. And especially if we go camping, we can simply plug right in at that point to the same 1450 plug that's there, charge our car very quickly and end up with just free charging. That's great. So if you're looking for a wall mounted charger that's not Wi-Fi, I would highly recommend taking a look at this charger. It seems like it's going to do a great job. And from the research that I've done on it, it looks like it's going to be good and clean. So hope you appreciate this video by giving us a like, subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.